Welcome everyone. I'm Katie Richardson, Vice President of Clinical Relations for Angel MD, and I am here today with Dr. Oren Nothmacher, CEO and co-founder of Avails Medical. He is going to tell us all about their exciting uh, products in the space of infectious disease for this week's Pitch Club Extension video. Thank you, Katie. <clears throat> Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everyone. My name is Ron Klappacher, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Avils Medical. At Avils, we're focusing on developing rapid, compact, and low-cost phenotypic cell diagnostics. Um, and with the focus, as we mentioned today, to fight sepsis. As you know, or as most of you probably know, sepsis is one of the leading causes of death around the world. It causes to more than 20% of global death today. And the big problem is that the pharma industry has neglected to build or develop new antibiotics for the past 25 to 30 years. And that lead us to the cause that bacteria are becoming inherently resistant to antibiotics. And soon we're gonna hit the wall where no antibiotics will be effective. And that means that if we lose our most effective antimicrobials, we're gonna lose more than medicine. And I mentioned worldwide drug resistant pathogens are emerging at alarming rates. 50 million cases of sepsis are concurring every year around the world. In the United States, 2 million people get sepsis every year and 250 people die. The problem is that it's the number one cost factor of US hospitalization, which more than $24 billion um, dollar each year. And as you probably know, sepsis treatment is inherently slow. It takes two to three, sometimes four to five days to get to actual results, which means what antibiotics need to be given to a patient in order to help him heal from sepsis. And over and over it has been shows that the only thing that might help to fight sepsis and death are rapid diagnostics, which could actually prevent up to 80% of sepsis death. So what have we done at the Vales that actually allows us to fight this problem and treat it? My background is physics. I got a PhD in condensed matter physics and I was studying how to convert biochemical reaction to electrical signals. And we're using this approach to actually monitor pathogens and seeing how they behave if you actually put them in contact with antibiotics. And the way it works is pretty simple. If a pathogen or a cell is alive, they will metabolize. They will either manufacture, produce um, electrons that will basically um, create metabolites like nitrates. And those metabolites will interact with our sensor surface. The more metabolites or with more pathogens around, the more metabolites will be created. And the way we're re reading out the information is in our case by either detecting oxidation reduction potential or sometimes pH changes. So the more metabolites are created, the more the oxidation reduction potential will drop. And that allows us in real time to actually measure and make Per, uh, rapid predictions of how, for example, the bacteria will interact with the, uh, with the pathogen, uh, with the um, drug, or for example, we are able to quantify and tell you how many pathogens are in your solution. And of course, as you can see here on the right side, because every pathogen will metabolize differently, we're also able actually also to ID um, the pathogen and we can do that directly in any bodily fluid in transparent and non-transparent media. And because we're using CMOS technology, as you can see here, a picture of a sensor here below, we're able to manufacture the sensors scalable, reproducible, and at very low cost, because our goal is really to help bring rapid AST technologies to every single patient in the United States and worldwide. And in order to do so, we want to make sure that we can actually manufacture and build this technology at affordable cost. And so what we have done at the Vales over the past seven years we have developed technology which is low cost, which is focused on solid state electrical biosensors. And we build a platform that allows us to tackle infectious disease diagnostics and provide physicians with actual results a few days faster so it can actually help the patient survive conditions like sepsis. As you know, and as I don't want to spend too much time, the sepsis workflow itself is tremendously complicated. It takes multiple days from start to end. Technologies today have been allowing uh, physicians to identify the pathogens rapidly, quickly, directly from a positive blood culture once the blood culture turns positive into the lab. However, there's continuously a gap where basically you have to separate the bacteria from the blood in order to run your, con uh, your conventional AST test, which by the way, takes another 24 hours. 
So because we can measure directly in the presence of blood, we've identified different products that we are putting now into the physician's office, if you want so. The first product allows basically to quantify the amount of pathogens that you need in order to run the conventional antibiotic sensitivity test. And so the equon, as we call it, is manufacturing a standardized inoculum, which is two to 10 to eight colony forming units directly from a positive blood culture in as fast as form in 40 minutes. You don't have to wait anymore overnight for your culture plate in order to basically create a solution. You can go directly from the positive blood culture in as 40 minutes to conventionally test. And then our second product under development, as we call it the EAST, allowing also to reduce the currently 24 hour workflow time to around three hours, which is by the way, also important because this is really giving you the AST results, the treatable diagnostics on what antibiotics are affecting for your patients. And so that is the two products that we're developing. With the third one, with the first one, we advanced it pretty much now to the point where we can start clinical trials um, in the fall. We have done a clinical pilot study with three sites. Each site had a different um, conventional AST technology out there, Microscan, Vitec, uh, Phoenix, or used conventional disk diffusion, DD. And we run the workflow with our equant and we compared the results to the conventional workflow. An important factor of it is to know if the antibiotic is susceptible intermediate or resistant, which is called the essential agreement. And then we also compare it to the Corregol agreement, which is a different drug vaccination. The FDA requires 95% correlation in order to pass uh, clinical trials. As you can see here, we're way above that with 97 or larger getting those results. Obviously this device is currently under development. So we have basically finished this clinical pilot study with 97% correlation. So whatever system you guys have in your lab, the equant will be able to be complementary to it and you, are, you will be able to advance or basically reduce the time to action results um, as you can see down here. So we're not telling or asking you to change your workflow that you're occurring today. We're basically allowing you to accelerate your workflow by more than a day to get to clinical actionable results. And that's what the Equant stands for. And that's what we're currently doing. And that's where the technology is currently at. Just quickly to the company, um, we formed in the end of 2013 out of Stanford. Um, I came here to, uh, to do my postdoc, met my co-founder, and we started Avils Medical, uh, really with the focus on productizing solid state electrical biosensors for infectious disease diagnostics, headquartered in Silicon Valley. And we also more recently got awarded the most prestigious um, grant in our space, the Carbis grant with more than 17 million in non-dilutive funding. Um, obviously we're around for seven years. So we, we, we managed to get a lot of patents in, more than 35 patents are being filed, 15 have been issued today. We are a small and very high functioning and committed team of 15 people full-time, established networks of development and manufacturing products. And the first product, as I mentioned, is currently clinical pilot trials. As of the timeline, um, we are basically now spending time on signing up clinical sites. So we have three um, sites that now currently are, um, do, will do our clinical trials. If you guys are interested in joining our trial, I'm more than happy to to take this discussion offline. We will starting this clinical trial in, um, in the fall, following by obviously after FDA submission, we're aiming for a class two 510K um, and then basically getting clearance and be on the market next year. As of the team, we are a team of very experienced people that brought technology and products to the market, people that worked in clinical labs and not what you're doing. And with that, I would like to close and really ask you if you have any questions, please, feel free, reach out to me. My email and contacts are down there and I would like to thank you all for your attention. Great, Oren, thank you so much for telling us about Avail's medical products. This is really exciting and I could definitely see time is critical in the treatment of sepsis. So the ability for you all to really reduce that is gonna be um, game changing, I think. Can you talk a little bit more about your upcoming class two clinical trial? Yes, of course. So basically what the, the clinical trial is going to be just uh, reproducing the clinical pilot study as which is or was just basically a, a trial for the upcoming clinical trial. And so we already have three sites signing up, but if you're interested to join, obviously we, are, we have probably space for another one or two. 
and more than happy basically to share, um, you know, more information offline. Great. And talk a little bit about your traction to date. Yes, um, obviously we're still under development and obviously we can't sell this product to the market, but obviously everybody that tested or, or basically got his hands on, on the Equant really sees the benefit because obviously you don't have to, to basically try to bring a new technology into your hospital, which probably all of you know is a lot of time, a lot of convincing and takes multiple years. Really what the Equant is doing is accelerate your technologies and allowing you to use your ASC system and bring it to rapid um, um, speed. And obviously, with that being said, you know, um, all of the big guys, everybody that, you know, has a system out there really likes it because you can see clearly the benefit of continuously using the workflow, which has been established over the past 30 years. And, you know, everybody's trusting and basically making that faster. And so we're seeing a lot of traction that we have by manufacturers, obviously by people that had tested this. And yeah, and if you have questions, and would like to get your hands on the Equan, just again, please um, feel free to reach out to me. Great. And specifically, I know you talked about additional pilot sites, but how else can the Angel MD network support the work that you're doing? Yes, obviously get the word out, right? There is, you know, importance on, on getting faster speed to, to treat sepsis. Um, as I mentioned before, we're looking still, you know, even if we might sign or not sign you up uh, for, for the site, if you're interested to play around with the Equant, you know, more than happy to send you uh, a unit or two so you can play around with that in your lab and obviously convince yourself that, you know, um, getting rapid uh, results by minimally changing the workflow that you have is really the way to go instead of trying to come up with a new budget and try to convince your hospital um, management that, you know, you need a new system. And so, yeah, I mean, we have a lot of room for, for people who like to play and now to experience the Equant. And so more than happy to talk to each of one of you if you have interest. Well, Oren, thank you so much for being with us today. Um, I do uh, also know that Oren's going to be with us on Tuesday evening um, for the networking session to answer any additional questions as well. So thank you, Oren, and we look forward to hearing more about um, your future successes. Thank you so much, Katie. I really appreciate uh, your time and allowing me to present today.